Hey guys, it's YesFan001 here for part 97 of Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. This is the sixth part of Lonesome Roads add-on. Is that a Deathclaw? Oh, what the? Oh no, that's not a Deathclaw. I thought there were Deathclaws here. Apparently not. Okay, Marksman Ravager, you die now. Okay, so between videos I did a little bit of trading and stuff and went and healed up at the place back in the main area. Last video, of course, we honestly did not really get to do quite as much as you might have hoped. Uh, also, we have not missed any of the EDE things yet. Oh, I know what that is. That's a new weapon. Oh, crap. That's what I was worried about. That wouldn't punch through his armor. That's a new weapon, though, and... I don't want to waste that, though. I don't want to accidentally hit the weapon that he has, though. Aw, oh, crap. Eddie hit it, I think. Oh, no, he didn't. Er, did he or did he not? I can't tell. Well, he's dead now, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, I didn't mean to take that. Uh, I don't want human flesh. I think that's revolting to be eating. Here, you can have that back. But we got the shoulder-mounted machine gun. It's a 10 millimeter machine gun, and it's pretty good, actually. Uh, kind of like a mix between... Oh, there's another one. It's kind of like a mix between the uh, missile launcher and the minigun. What are you happy about, Eddie? Did you did you find something? Uh, yeah, I'll take those. Alright, uh, let's try out this new shoulder-mounted machine gun. Oh, they can't repair with anything else, even with jerry-rigged, I guess. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, let's try it out, though, because this is a pretty cool-looking gun. Supposedly, it's also, like, really valuable. Oh, uh, that is so weird-looking. A commissary? Okay, thanks. Uh, thanks, Eddie. <laughs> Was not expecting that. Oh, this one hasn't resupplied, though. No, it hasn't resupplied. I was just checking. Uh, Bowie knife. I don't need the flashbangs. I don't need the hand grenades. I'll hold on to the satchel charges because they are actually can be a little bit useful. What have I got in the miscellaneous? Just, I think those, yeah, surgical two things. All right. Well, with that, let's continue on. Good job, Eddie. Thank you for unlocking that. I would not have known it was there otherwise, even though it really didn't do anything. Uh, what are we going to look for now? We got an old hospital sign here. I know that there are death claws on this path somewhere. If this is the area that I'm thinking of. Wow, a flare gun. I am so afraid of your flare guns. Dang, this thing actually does a lot more damage than I remember it. Whoa, hey. Okay, seriously, dude, can you at least try to attack me with something that might do some damage and not a flare gun? Because clearly it's not doing anything. Because you hit me like three times with it and it di didn't do anything. Alright, he's dead. Uh, take the arc welder. This gun is actually really, really good. And look at how much ammo I have for it. Dang. That's a lot of ammo. Oh, uh. Set off this nuke. Yay! Alright, we got radiation here, so it's never a good thing, and actually a lot of it. Oh, but I see something over here. I see a climbable area. Rockets! Okay. I know I really want to show off the red glare, but I don't know if I can because it lags the game so badly. Ten millimeter rounds. Can I climb this? Oh, I can. Oh, crap. I actually forgot you could go up here. Oh, it doesn't look like there's anything up here aside from a marked man with some weapons and ammo and a stem pack. I just don't want to fall because I don't feel like repeating anything. No, whatever's up there, it probably is not going to be worth finding, so... I'll come back if someone points something out or knows something up there and I could come back for it at any time, but I don't feel like taking the risk for it. 
Oh wow, a bunch of pre-war money and sarsaparillas. I'll take that though. Okay, let's go ahead and re-equip the shoulder-mounted machine gun. Yeah, you move fine as long as you have it holstered. Whoa, down there. Uh, I gotta remember that I'm gonna be saving every few minutes or so just to make sure that if the game, you know, freezes on me or something, that way I don't have to repeat very much of it. Or it'll allow me to, you know, edit stuff together. I mean, I can always edit it if I have to. Yeah, I apologize for the glare on the right side of the screen, but that's just because recording during the day, and... It's a really sunny summer this year, a lot more so than last year, because last year we would literally have two days of hot, scorching sun, and then a day of pouring rain, and that was the pattern all freaking summer. Actually, that was the last two years, I believe, now that I think about it. Like, the last two years were like that. No way, it was only the last year, because the year before was the year that it was extremely cold during the summer. Like, it was literally the coldest summer I can remember. It averaged, like, in the 80s every day, which, or it averaged, like, 80s or sometimes even below during the summer, which was kind of ridiculous. And it wasn't so good for the crops either, but it was kind of nice to not be burning up every day, even though it's really not that hot in North Carolina. I mean, heck, I'm actually pretty close to Virginia, so... What have we got in here? So yeah, there's a lot of stuff to scavenge, at least, which is a good thing. Lots of free war money. Ah, uh, that's not good. There's the death claws. Come here. Oh man, you know what? I could have set off that nuke. I didn't even see that. I could have set that freaking nuke off. Now, what's the chances the death claw can actually get in here? You know, I don't feel like taking that risk. Because I feel like it would probably let him come in there and trap me, and I don't want a death claw hug. Oh crap! Where did he come from? Where the heck did he come from? Did he like fall? Okay. Okay. I don't know what happened there. I guess he, like, he either climbed up there or he fell down on me? God, I don't even know. That was weird. A lot of ammo out of there. Oh, wow, tons of ammo, so I'm glad we came in here, but... Okay, that was very weird. Was not expecting that. Oh, we got a nuke there. Uh, I'm not going to set that off, though, instead. I want to talk to Eddie, and... Let's get... I uh, am... Oh, okay. If you drop the power output by 0.24, you'll be able to make more energy ammo. God, how does my guy know that? Okay. Wow. Fully repaired it. I didn't think he fully repaired. Maybe it was just because this weapon wasn't in too crappy of a condition. Oh, let's do that too. And that. Hmm. What are you going to make for me, Eddie? What do I want you to make? Flamer fuel. I'll take that over energy cells any day. So not a whole lot of ammo, but dang, I mean, still, that's a really good thing. I mean, what I care about, though, is the ability to use him to repair. Because that is so freaking useful to have him to repair for you. Man, there is so much ammo out of here. Oh, crap! Uh, okay, I thought my, he killed me in one hit? Okay, that was unexpected. Uh, I don't know what to say about that. I don't remember the death claws being a one hit kill. He came out of nowhere though. I don't know, where did he even come from? Where are any of these death claws coming from? Seriously, they're just coming out of freaking nowhere. It's the second one that just appeared out of nowhere, because the other one looked like he maybe jumped down from the upper level or something. God, I don't even know. Now, I also got kind of unlucky with that death claw, though, because I had the laser designator thingy out, and not an actual machine gun. Okay, let's try not to let that happen again. I was not expecting that. Freaking scared the crap out of me, Mr. Deathclaw. 
Okay, let's set that off from back here. Okay, I was kind of hoping there would be a death claw there that would die from it. Okay, now that my being afraid of death claws is hopefully over. He jumped on top of us, didn't he? This is why you need to come into this DLC with a lot of stim packs. The freaking death claws are devastating. They'll like one or two hit kill you sometimes, apparently. I didn't think they were that powerful, though. Where did he go? Okay, that one's being stupid. Uh, I almost just want to, I kind of wish I had some frag mines or something right now. Because, I mean, you might remember in Fallout 3, Death Claws... Oh, nice sneak attack critical. In Fallout 3, though, I mean, in Fallout 3, once you found the, uh... Eddie, get out of my way! Once you found the freaking, or once you made a freaking dart gun... The Death Claws really couldn't do anything to you anymore. Oh, that's a... Not... This is not going well. Okay, I need a new tactic for this. Alright, I need to think about this for a minute. How am I supposed to beat these things? Like, seriously, Eddie's no use at all, and my stupid dogs are barking. Why? God, this day is just not going well. This day is not going well at all. There's gotta be a way to do this. I mean, seriously, I've done this before. I don't know why I'm having this much trouble. If I keep failing at this, I'm just going to probably cut ahead to when I actually end up being successful. I do not remember ever having this level of difficulty with this, though. Okay, this time I'm going to see if I can bait the Death Claws into coming toward the thing with the nuke on it and try to nuke them. There's one. Die. Ha ha! That didn't do anything, did it? That probably didn't do anything. Okay? I don't know what just happened. I literally just, like, got thrown in the air. for anything else I can use. Okay, there's only two more. There's only two more. Let's take this nice and calmly. Some auto-inject stim packs would probably be more helpful here if I make that three more. Okay, this is why I'm really glad I had like 700 stim packs coming into this. Actually, I had like 750. Because I don't have to worry about running out of stim packs now. God, if you come into this at any time, you need so many stim packs because these things will freaking murder you. And you need a lot of caps to be able to repair your armor because your armor is going to get destroyed. Oh, but look at this one. This death claw is right there in prime position to be shot by the anti material rifle. Perfect shot. Okay, Deathclaw, sit down. Ha ha ha, that's right. Suck it. Oh, I knocked him off the cliff, cool. Okay, there's one more. I don't see him, though. Okay, Eddie. Uh, since I cannot seem to have much success with this, I am going to save here. So this is actually really getting on my nerves a bit. I mean, I remember, I mean, like I said, though, this DLC is difficult, because, I mean, there's a lot of death claws, and 
you'd be a lot better off, I guess, if you had a lot more, like, mines and stuff coming in, maybe. That probably would make this easier, but, I mean, I don't, and, I mean, this is just the one time in the game that a freaking dart gun would be a lifesaver. And that, that's all you would need, is just a freaking dart gun, and then you could just make it through here without really any issues whatsoever. Okay, this is where he surprised me at last time. Where are you? Where are you, stupid Deathclaw? Ruined Highway Interchange. Great. I don't care. Where is the Deathclaw at? God, just think, though, if this was, like, Fallout 4, because it looks like the Deathclaws can, like, pick you up in freaking Fallout 4. That's terrifying. They can actually, like, pick you up? That's scary. Okay, uh, switch back to something else. I wish I had something... I don't know how much armor these guys have, either. Okay, just gonna have to start spamming stim packs a lot of the time. I don't even want to know how many stim packs I'm gonna end this with. It's probably gonna be like nothing. At least though, they give you you know a lot of chances to make money and a lot of loot. Ah, uh, what have we got here? Five millimeters and MRE. Okay, take that. At least they do give you a lot of loot and everything to sort of make up for all the money you're going to have to spend buying, like, healing items and ammo and such. I wish I could sleep here, but I'd probably get eaten by a death claw. Oh, a survivor's footlocker. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, nice. Interesting music choice. Like, it... It's kind of, like, darker and sadder, which this DLC is kind of built that way. It's built to be a lot more just dark and depressing and sad a lot of the times. I mean, and, I mean, it is kind of the conclusion to the Fallout New Vegas storyline, pretty much, is this DLC. It's intended to be played last because it's going to sort of resolve everything. Yeah. Sir, oh. I think you're making a mistake. We're close to a breakthrough with the Duraframe iBot. Yes, sir, I understand that we need the Duraframe assets for Hellfire armor, but... No, sir. Yes, sir. I understand, sir. I'll tell the team to start disassembling the ED series prototypes right away. Hey, you little rascal, were you eavesdropping again? I think those videos you watched had bad <laughs> influence on you. How much of that did you hear? Didn't Dr. Grant say she'd upgraded your navigational systems? And I think I have an idea. How'd you like to be just like Ralphie? Hmm? Sorry, I was taking a drink there. That was bad timing. Be <laughs> Okay. No, Eddie, I don't want to hear your recordings of human me. <laughs> No, I forgot he said that. <laughs> oh, God, Eddie, you're a freaking pervert. Pervbot, I don't know. You're like the freaking sex bot or something. Okay, well, that was a much cheerier notice to the end of this episode, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time, hopefully with less fail.